is a decision many companies across the country are having to make right now. How to transition to returning to the workplace after more than a year of working from home because of the pandemic. Marissa Signs is live in the newsroom with the challenges local workers and companies are facing. Hi, Marissa. Hey, Lena, you know, whether employees will return to the office or stay home depends on two things, your line of work and the company. Companies are offering different things, different options, such as full time in house, hybrid, and some are even staying full time remote. Now, a recent study of more than a thousand human resource professionals shows that roughly 55% of employers said they'd offer hybrid models of working, 28% said they'd require employees to come back full time. And you know, when you think of working remotely, first thing you might think of is doing it from your home office, right? Well, now many are working remotely and traveling or moving to entirely different cities. One young professional I spoke with who recently switched jobs says the new gig is across the country, but would allow him to work remotely, a major factor in his decision to make the switch company is based out in Texas and the reason why I chose to go to another place is because it was going to be fully remote allowing me to to go after these other business opportunities that I really wanted to, to pursue. Yeah, and as you can imagine, the cost of living is different in different cities, which is why salary negotiations are now a new consideration. Coming up at 11, we'll talk about how that's changing for both employees and employers and why one local HR consultant says it could be the difference maker in business quality. Lena? It's a new economic shift. All right, thanks so much, Marissa. Looking forward to that at 11.